the first two weeks that we were running it, every single batch that came out, and the first beer we did was our Tulula Pale Ale. Um, you know, everybody was like, this is the best batch of Tulula we've ever made. And then the next day it was like Big Daddy, and I was like, this is the best batch of Big Daddy we've ever made. And then it was Prohibition, this is the best. I'm like, guys, it's the centrifuge. <laughs> Everything's gonna taste good now. What the centrifuge is removing is primarily yeast and hops. Um, all the stuff that's just naturally in there. It's clearing out that last little bit that's just making the beer very hazy. And when it comes out, it looks like what settles to the bottom of the tank. And it would settle to the bottom of the tank if we just left it in the tank cold for another 10 days or so. That beer that's very, very cloudy that we couldn't filter before, uh, it ends up making close to a 5% gain in total volume that we end up getting into our bright tank. So it's probably cutting our loss uh, down by 20%. That's the way to sell the bank on it. <laughs> uh, all of us wanted the centrifuge because of the quality increase. So. Everybody talks about how much more hop aroma you get. We've done a little bit of reduction in some of our beers that we felt were a little too hoppy. Where other beers, our IPAs especially, um, you know, we've even had more hops because we just feel like we're getting more bang for a buck out of adding those hops in now. Beyond hops, we were really surprised to see that just all of the malt flavor, everything, the whole flavor of the beer in general really brightened up and kind of filled out. It's almost as if, um, like, degraded sound quality. Like, if you look at a, a sine wave that's, like, missing little bits of it, it's like all that finally got filled in. And it's, it just, the whole beer tastes richer and fuller and just more complex. Like, all the little bits that we were missing, and we we're just getting our beer in hi-fi now.